Hey guys, this is Zach Mazada, and on this episode of the NOS Performance Play the Game, we're going to take a look at one heck of a comeback. Down four flag captures against Status Quo and Countdown CTF, Russo and Fnatic Classic rally back to win 5-4. Let's talk to Russo and find out how they did it. So Russo, the beginning of the game wasn't looking pretty for you guys to say the least. What was going wrong? But for some reason, objective games, it just takes us a couple of minutes to get into it. Main problem was they got all four of us down at the start. So they had full map control, all weapons, all power-ups off the start of the game. So they ended up getting one or two really quick caps. And then after a while, they just kept that momentum going. I felt like we weren't working together like we usually do. But it seems like every game, it takes a while for us to start to click. So here you are using a very unconventional flag route that ended up working out in your favor. What was going through your head? The reason I ran that way was because when that was going on, I was looking at uh, my teammates' death screen, and I was looking around since they had about three dead at the time. So we were just, I was trying to find a way to run where they wouldn't see me, and I didn't, decided to actually hold the flag the entire time, not like flag run it so that way they wouldn't find the indicator. And then I just ended up running a normal route after dropping S3, just ran into my window and capped it. Right after you got the first cap, you guys were able to score again. How'd you do it? I know Straight Sick got a really good spawn on our radio, and he was able to stop uh, at least two people. While Chig actually ran, I believe, Big Door or up the vent, I wasn't 100% sure, but we ran in pretty quick. After Straight Sick killed someone outside, we all just fell back into our window. At that time, we were getting top control and just trying to make sure they don't run into the flag because they only needed one more. You came up so clutch here. You dive bomb off the street to save the flag and then eventually scored it. They had the fifth flag in their window, so I knew I had to either grab it or try and stop theirs. I accidentally fell down. I wanted to stay on S2, but I fell down and actually working out in the end. So I ended up falling from their street to bottom middle and then ran their flag up the drive in. At that point, every team is starting to play passive. I think they got a little worried that they were up 4 0 and that we had just come back with three flag caps. Enable ran into our base trying to stop one of the flag caps. Um, I ended up beating him down with the flag and somehow surviving with no shields and no health. We got the fourth flag cap and then it was tied 4-4 and we were saying to each other, we have this game being down 4-0 and then just coming back and winning would be such a huge momentum for us. Um, I ended up running the last flag was probably one of the most nervous things I've ever done because the jetpack flag run is one of the hardest things to do. Five straight cat flag classic after going down four to zero. What do you have to say to players who find themselves down early in a game? Never count yourself out of a game. Um, the game's never over until it actually says game over. Even though we were down 4-0, we just always kept composure, kept calling out, making sure we were working together, and we ended up winning the game. Russo, thanks again for taking us through that game. This has been the NOS Performance Play of the Game. If you'd like to catch some other episodes, head on over to MajorLeagueGaming.com slash NOS.